basically artificial intelligence defined okay so just now i told you that it is a branch of computer science okay so basically it is a art of execution of human intelligence by machines and the branch of computer science which basically the aim is to create it collectively that is called artificial intelligence okay so in the real world if we talk about the knowledge has some unwelcome properties because whenever we are trying to uh, gain knowledge okay we just trying to provide knowledge to the artificial intelligence machines there are some properties which we think about that is basically its volume is huge its volume is huge whatever data we have present on the online platforms or wherever like where in like, many types of platforms we just think it is next to unimaginable data like it is very difficult to manage such large type of data okay because it is first of all not well organized it is unstructured form of data it is not well formatted okay so it keeps changing constantly so that become a problem how to manage this data how to gain knowledge from this data okay so then your artificial intelligence comes in role which makes it possible to organize this part of data and use the knowledge efficiently in such a way that it should be perceivable by the people who provide it okay that means uh, like if you are working for some company okay and you are uh, like there there you have to manage their data and you have to gain insights from the data you have to tell them what is important points in this data which can really help in the growth of the company so what you can do you just analyze that data you just try to visualize that data you just try to find the relationship between the uh, different variables in our in your data and then you can make it in a structured format which may be useful for the people who actually is providing you that unstructured format of data and you are trying to gain insight from that data and telling the importance of that particular data what that the data scientist do that's a artificial intelligence researcher do okay so it should be easily modifiable to correct like to correct errors that means we can modify what is actually going on okay like uh, for example if you have gain insight from the data but suddenly your company manager is telling that there is some errors in your data and we have to modify it so we have to make such type of data so that we can later on do the changes in our data also we can do the modification and data so that any type of errors is can be reduced okay so we have to make such type of data that can that does not have irreducible errors ai techniques can elevate the speed of execution of the complex program it is equipped with ai what it can do it has so uh, like so huge libraries for example your tensor flow in keras with the help of that we can make uh, like such a task in so speed way that means like for example if we have given a task where we have to design a machine learning algorithm for example for the prediction of the flight delay okay where we have to solve this business case problem where we have to predict how the flight is getting delayed what is the data we have to uh, like understand so we basically first of all what we do we just see what's the departure time what's the schedule time what's the destination okay what's the like uh, uh, like what uh, where the flight is actually is now present okay what's the time of actual at scheduling time what's the actual departure time according to that we will perform some processes okay then we come to the conclusion like what expect is making your flight delay and we can predict like uh, what's the chances of getting the flight delay somewhat maybe sometimes flight get delayed because of the weather predictions okay sometimes the weather is not good or weather is not uh, like uh, in a favor of a uh, flight so then we can think about that flight is getting delayed okay so artificial intelligence is a manner where we can organize and use the knowledge efficiently in such a way that it should be perceivable by the people who provide it it should be easily modifiable to correct errors and it can elevate the speed of execution of the complex problems it is equipped with so complex type of problems it can make it Uh, like the speed of execution of that particular problem in a fast way okay that will really help the uh, businesses and that can really help the industries okay so artificial intelligence is like is a basically a technique where we can use that data and we can arrange in such a format that it can be useful for the businesses also okay so we have seen like what is artificial intelligence 
our question sometimes comes in mind like why we are using artificial intelligence okay so we should always know whenever we are learning something that what is the importance of particular this subject okay so first of all you know like with the help of artificial intelligence you can create such type of softwares or you can say such type of devices which can solve the real world problems okay very easily and with proper accuracy such as your health issues marketing or traffic issues such type of issues we can really solve traffic issues like for example what's the actually what's the prediction we can do the prediction what what actually is causing the traffic so much in for example in bangalore okay so we can solve that problems and we can come to the conclusion like if we solve these problems it will really help the people of bangalore and there is so much not so much traffic and they can reach in time to their destination okay so second thing with the help of artificial intelligence you can create your uh, like for example personal virtual assistant like for example siri and alexa is present like that you can create your own also with the help of artificial intelligence applications okay 